part of the reason why I was writing, I don't want to say critically, but just very honestly about what was happening there, including publishing data on what these companies, how these companies were rating themselves and their own technology, because there was this dissonance between what was privately being shared and what was publicly being announced. So that's an easy thing to do right there is just, okay, let's narrow that gap because that doesn't make any sense. Like people are making life decisions, going to work for companies based on completely false assumptions. That's not good for anyone. Investors are investing pension money and other people's money in companies based on what's publicly announced and not what's privately known. That's not good either. So there was just a, a notion of being realistic about it. And I, I think there was a lot of frustration and still a lot of frustration in the field of self-driving cars where there's not a lot of data sharing happening between companies and best practices and what they could do better and how they can avoid having a weak link that ruins it for everyone else. And by that, if you look at a parallel like the aviation industry, one of the things the aviation industry did was come up with a set of safety standards, which are very difficult to do with self-driving cars because we're in such a nascent stage, but they at least came up with a, a framework for discussing really serious problems like that, that had come up 